What's up guys? I'm Corey with Inspect the Gadget and today I'm going to show you guys how to root your Nexus 7 tablet. So you guys can overclock and you can install in custom ROMs and custom kernels and have full control of your device. So let's get inspecting. Okay guys, now the first thing you need to decide when considering to root your Nexus 7 is whether it's worth it or not at all for your needs. Now, the reason people root their devices is to gain more control over functions not offered by the stock operating system. Now, rooting allows you to do things like install custom kernels that allow you to overclock your CPU and your GPU or change the contrast settings, you know, make those blacks a little blacker, a little darker. Install custom ROMs, which also include a custom kernel, which are essentially a new OS that allow you to custom Customize your experience and get faster updates from the developer. Now, custom ROMs usually strip out all the garbage like carrier installed apps, and the uh, kernels can optimize voltage to improve the battery life as well. Now, the potential downside to rooting your device is that something could go wrong. Now, although this is unlikely now with developers creating programs that pretty much do all the work for you. It still can happen. I've been rooting uh, devices for a while now, both manually and using one-click methods, and I have yet to experience bricking any of my devices. Now, the other potential issue is that rooting your device may void your warranty, as installing a custom bootloader, which is required in order to root your device, can't be undone on some devices. Although you can uh, always restore your phone to its original stock form. Now, rooting your device may also trigger certain functions not to work by the original manufacturer. For example, the Kindle Fire is programmed to disable Amazon Instant Video Watching if the device is rooted, just like the Nexus 7 disables Google Wallet and NFC if the device is rooted. However, these issues can be circumvented by doing a temporary root and unrooting the device when needed with programs like Voodoo OTA Root Keeper, which I'll provide a link below for that as well. Now, neither I nor Inspect the Gadget is responsible or liable for any damages to your device by following any of the rooting instructions in this video. So please make sure you have the tech thumb before trying to root your device. So if you weighed all the pros and cons of rooting your device and you have decided that it's for you, then we're going to teach you how to do just that. Okay, so we're going to be showing you a quick and easy way that you can go ahead and root your Nexus 7 tablet. So we're going to be using the Nexus 7 toolkit, which can be found on the XDA developers website here, uh, which I've provided a link for below, but I've also provided a direct link to go ahead and just click and download the Nexus 7 uh, toolkit. And that's going to take you here to Mediafire, and you're just going to go ahead and click download and download the Nexus 7 toolkit. Once you've got the Nexus 7 toolkit downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up and when you open it up it's going to start up ADB and first thing it's going to ask you is if you want to check for updates so you just press Y hit enter now while it's checking for updates one of the things you want to do is go ahead to your tablet and you're going to go to settings and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click developer options and you're going to make sure you turn developer options on then you're going to scroll down to USB debugging under developer options and go ahead and turn that on as well. So once you've got USB uh, debugging turned on, you can now take your Nexus 7 device uh, using the cable that came with it, the USB cable, and plug it into your PC. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, great. So once it's done uh, downloading or searching for updates and downloading the uh, most recent version, it's going to take you to a screen like this. And the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and hit option one, press enter. And what option one does is installs, it says Google Nexus 7 drivers on your PC. What that actually means is it actually allows your PC to identify your Nexus 7 tablet as an ADB device. Without your PC identifying your tablet as an ADB device, you won't be able to do any debugging. So that's why we need your PC to be able to understand that, hey, this is an ADB device. So an Android debugging device. So anyways, uh, once you do that, you're going to go ahead and select the appropriate um, uh, operating system that you have on your PC and it should go ahead and install the proper drivers for you and you should be fine if it doesn't automatically take you back to the menu you just go ahead and hit four and we'll go back now the next thing we're going to do is back up and restore your tablet okay well it says back up and restore but of course we're just backing up now the reason we need to back up your tablet is because we're going to be unlocking your bootloader and your bootloader um, once we unlock your bootloader it's going to completely wipe your tablet of everything that you had on it 
okay so you definitely want to make sure that you back up all of your data all of your apps and everything now here's an important note it says apps backup will not save your SMS messages if you want them backed up you'll have to download an app from the market okay once you've backed up everything that you want to back up we're gonna go ahead and type in 13 which will take us back to the main menu going back to the main menu instead of going through steps three four five six seven and all that stuff we're gonna go straight to step eight which is one click for all and it's gonna go ahead as you can see and take you through steps three through seven all at once okay so you're gonna get a thing on your Nexus 7 that pops up when you get ready to unlock your bootloader that says hey you're getting ready to unlock unlock your bootloader um, this will void your warranty and you know click yes if you want to continue you're gonna to have to click yes uh, rooting your your uh, device uh, will void your warranty as of right now so uh, that's something to keep in mind if you you know to decide if you actually want to root your device anyways go ahead and click yes if you do no if you don't if you do we can continue watching this video and we're gonna go ahead and type 8 and go ahead and go through with everything um, go ahead and check and, and definitely look at read the uh, disclaimer here important after unlocking the bootloader the tablet will boot into Android uh, restarting halfway if you just unlock the bootloader when it reaches the setup wizard you need to complete it then go to setting, settings developer options and tick USB debugging now guys why it's telling you this is because if you remember before I told you to go ahead and go into your settings and click uh, uh, developer options and do the whole nine well when you unlock your when you unlock your bootloader it's gonna wipe your device clean like I said so all of your settings and everything that you set before are gonna be lost so you're gonna have to go back in again go to settings scroll down to developer options click that and turn on developer options and scroll down to USB debugging and go ahead and check that again once you do that your tablet's gonna reboot into fast boot mode and it's gonna boot the uh, insecure image like as it says here and rename the recovery restore files and inst install busybox and lastly install uh, clockwork mod touch recovery uh, so and that'll be it guys I mean you know you gotta make sure you don't touch anything don't touch the PC just leave it be guys have some patience let it do what it does and it'll recycle and go through everything and that's pretty much it guys you when it's all done your tablet will be rooted now I'm gonna do a more uh, in-depth and detailed um, explanation of what ROMs are and how to uh, in install a custom kernel or custom ROM we're gonna go into some of those things in another video uh, but those things will allow you to you know have complete control over your uh, Android device customize and change all kinds of stuff and you'll also be able to overclock which is what a lot of people want to do I currently have mine overclocked to 1.7 gigahertz and uh, the GPUs are also overclocked so guys uh, let me know if you like this video leave your questions or your comments down below If you don't understand something please let me know I will get to you as fast as I can um, again I'm Corey with inspect the gadget you can follow me on Twitter at inspect the gadget you can also follow me on Google Plus uh, at plus inspect the gadget so guys if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button it helps me out more than you know and uh, again I'm Corey with inspect the gadget and I'll see you on the other side <laughs>